How's it going dudes? So today's video will be centered around Padme and the team and what I think is probably the best way to go about modding them when it comes to the, to the relics and to the gear 13s. So that'll be the first part and we'll slowly go into the Shock T nuke team as well with the modding there and the most ideal. It's not going to take that long. It's just something short I want to get into. But let's start off today, today's video with uh, the Padme and how I feel like you should mod them with relics. Let's go over here. Um, I'm going to chat more in depth on this team here at the top, the Padme with 3PO, GK, Anakin, and R2. This is the most reliable counter out there to Malix. It is uh, the most consistent, and I have yet to lose one with how I've been modding them. Um, I still need to remod my GK, and he's the newest one that I have had word on of how you should remod him. So let's actually go chat. Let's go in here. Let's go chat about the the star of the show, Padme. So Padme, mine is not ideal. Um, I probably should have made sets of what you guys should probably look into for um, which ones you should throw on them. But as of right now, for me, what I found to be the best is some extra offense and a CD triangle. And then as well as some nice uh, HP primaries, if you can, get your hands on to and just some stuff like that. Some more, uh, some more offense is really, really useful because if you come down here to her mastery, she gets defense penetration. And that's pretty huge, kind of similar to Anakin. She's going to do a lot more just base damage to the guy. And with, with everybody's relics, you're going to be getting a, like a little bit more offense as well and crit chance. So with how I'm modding her and what I feel like is the most ideal way of modding her is uh, going for some, some CD triangles and um, some more some more CC is actually not that bad in this case because you want her to crit as much as possible because versus Malix, and this is really what the video is about is versus Malix, you want her to crit as much as possible because she will not get feared, she is immune to fear. Just to let you guys know, she's immune to fear. It says right here at her, always a choice, Padme is immune to fear. So in this case, you wanna mod her for a lot more, CD, more, more CC rather, crit chance, and throw in a CD triangle. A CC or a full CD set for 222% CD is okay, but in this in this mastery and in her relic, I would highly recommend going for more offense. So my offense is not crazy. If I was you, I would probably shoot for um, mine's only relic three, so I'd probably shoot for around 6k offense, and then try to get as much CC in there as possible. The nice thing about this counter is that she doesn't need to be fast, so she can still remain slow in the turn orders. Um, but um, for sure, you want to mod her for some more offense, CD triangle, and try to get some more CC as well. And then, then after you get those three, then you can kind of worry about her HP and her, her protection. So um, keep in mind that this whole team gets 50% extra HP from her leadership right here with the unwavering courage. So. There you guys have it for Padme. And I guess we'll go on to the next important guy, which is uh, Padme's boyfriend, um, Anakin. So Anakin is probably, so before gear 13, and he was, he was like gear 12, before even relics, this guy was uh, was really def difficult for me actually to mod him. But now with relics, this just made the modding extremely easy on him. So in this counter versus Malik in the Padme team, his mods will be different from that which is of the of the Shock T nuke team. The the sets are gonna be different. So in this team with this counter um, versus Malik, you want to go for offense sets. Um, the reason being is that Malik, once you get him low enough, he will be having max crit avo or uh, yeah crit avoidance so you'll not be able to crit him whatsoever so what you want to do here is to go for a lot more offense and um, we'll chat about why you want to go for crit damage in the other teams but for how i modded him and what i feel like is the best modding here for anakin in this particular team is first and foremost the cd triangle for padme and anakin i would really recommend you guys going for a cd triangle it's extremely extremely valuable the reason being is that let's say you do happen to get a big hit on malik and he doesn't die he's going to be stuck in the yellow or the red well he's going to have a lot of uh a lot of the the ca right and a lot of the tenacity and guess what if you do happen to proc one of his bonus turns he's going to come back and drain like you and get back up to max hp the reason you want a cd triangle is that you want to go and, it, and with the bonus turns you're going to be getting from anakin you want, you're going to get his bonus turn and then you're going to hit him real hard with the crit making him go back down to the exact same hp he was at so that's a very very crucial here on top of the cd triangle go for loads and loads of offense guys Mine is not even that great at 9.4. Yeah, it's probably above average, but I can definitely bump this number up. So 9.4, almost 9.369. And then 
uh, some speed, like uh, in this whole in this whole in this whole team in the slow Padme, you want to have specific turn orders. So um, the turn order uh, I've done pre pre previous videos on that. So if you guys want to go check out those, just let me know. I can uh, can probably just link them in the description. But uh, you want to have you know good speed. You want to have some decent CD tr CD triangle and good offense. And then you can worry about if you want to add in HP or protection. Um, so that's Anakin. He's pretty simple, actually. Now let's move on to the third most important guy here, which is actually GK. GK used to not be as important, but now with the relics and gear 13, this guy is extremely important. So there was a Reddit post not too long ago of whether or not defense sets are better than HP sets when it comes to the Padme team. And I'll leave a link to that as well. I'm not too sure who the guy's name is. I'm pretty sure though it's, his name was the Chadley. So shout out to you, man. Um, this is pretty cool. So defense sets with, with um, let's actually just chat about his relic first. So his relic gives him more armor, which is the defense, health, steel, and protection. So more armor is actually really, really nice, especially when you're talking about inside of this Padme team because you're getting even more HP. So you don't need to worry about HP too much. My modding is not ideal for this. What I would really, really highly recommend you guys to mod your GK for now once you get him relicked up and gear 13, go for defense, guys. So um, right now, uh, you, of course, get a, a defense on, on the diamond, but really look into a defense on the cross now. Um, probably maybe even for the triangle as well. Keep on the speed because you need him to be in the right turn order for the team. But if you guys can, you know, swap out the HP set here and go for a defense set and then try to get some nice speed with defense percentages, this is extremely, extremely valuable because um, with how I'm modding mine at least, these these Maliks and these Darth Revens are not even coming close to killing my GK. Um, and just imagine what this guy can do with a full defense set and making him just max it on the defense. So my mods right now, my GK and his stats, he has around 74k HP and 59, almost 60k protection with some nice speed there. Don't really worry about too much of these offensive stats because in this team, the Courage will do all the damage for your tanks. You want to have your Padme and your Anakin being the big damage dealers, so don't worry about that too much. Um, even the CC, even the damage, don't worry about it. But the armor, guys, mine is only at 6% extra. If you can shoot for the 65 to 70% armor, that is extremely valuable. Um, the Malak and pretty much any other team are going to be fighting with this team and GK being modded that way. GK is going to be one of the most durable tanks in the game. Um, very close to L3 or maybe even, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say too many things because I know there's people out there saying, no, this guy's going to be more durable. But I'm pretty sure I can, it's very, very, it's very safe to say that GK modded with defense is extremely durable. So what I would go for here is I would really prioritize the defense first and then go for HP and then go for speed if you can. Or actually, maybe you want to go for defense first and then speed and then HP and then protection. Because with the extra HP, you're going to get a lot. It's just crazy. So just wrap up GK. Defense is the main priority here. Try to get around the 65 to 70 percent, depending on what rel what level relic yours is. Mine is only level relic three, so what is he gonna get? 1.3. Next level will be 1.8. So, and on top of that, he's getting even more from the agility growth here. He's gonna get 1% next level. So, defense on GK. Let's move on. So next up, we're gonna chat about R2. R2 is probably the the. Uh, I would say he's, he's probably a little bit more important than GK in, in certain teams that you're fighting, but for the most part, GK is going to be a lot more important. So um, R2, this is with relics, R2 is going to be modded for offense and speed. So the reason you want him with the offense is you come down to the number crunch Zeta. So with the Zeta, you actually get some more offense depending on who's, who's in your team. And this team, you're having a full five um, team of uh, Galactic Republic, so that's 50% extra offense. And then after you get all these stats, then you give out 10% of all your stats to your teammates. So just imagine all the extra offense you're gonna be giving to Anakin. That's gonna be really, really nice. And, and a lot of more you know, hits you'll be getting on Anakin. So what I went for modding my R2, I would like to think this is pretty optimal. Could probably get him up a little, a little bit more for the offense though. Um, ideally, I would wanna shoot for 5K offense. If more, that'd be awesome. But right now he's at 4,600. Um, that's pretty nice because you're gonna be getting 
50% from having a full team of GR, and then you're gonna, get, gonna be giving away 10% of that to um, Anakin, which is gonna be nice, guys. That's around 500 to 600 extra offense you're gonna be giving Anakin. Just imagine those numbers. So on top of that, um, you wanna get some extra HP just so he can survive a little bit longer and give out even more HP to the team to, uh, I mean, I mean the, the, the numbers here are pretty rid ridiculous with R2. And on top of that, you want to have them the same in the turn order. I like to have my R2 to be right before GK so we can smoke him up. Um, so he's got to be somewhat fast still. So this is my my mods here. For sure on R2, you want to prioritize the offense first. And then I would go for some speed and then the HP. Because in this team with the number crunch, you're not getting that much extra HP. Um, because there's only going to be you know him and R Aaron the 3PO for being the Rebels. So you're only getting 20% extra max. So... I, I would really just go for more offense on R2. So let's move on to 3PO. So typically we would chat probably next about Ahsoka, but this is the most reliable and the most consistent team out there versus really any Maliks. And then this is at U13 Relics as well. So my 3PO is not relic but if you guys were to, this guy is extremely simple. I would just go for a lot of speed and a lot of potency. You wanna make sure that he's fast enough to go first out of your entire team. And then having the potency there so we can apply this confuses and his uh, um, other confuses and, and exposes from his uh, special here. So he's just very simple. I, I wouldn't really want to go into him too much. But uh, his mastery, if you guys were to gear 13 him, he gets more crit avoidance, accuracy, and damage. Damage is really pointless because he doesn't, he doesn't do any damage. But uh, um, yeah, I honestly, at a, at a relic level with, our, with a 3PO, I'd probably go for... Uh, you know, crazy potency, but also consider the the uh, defense as well. So, you know, 3PO is very simple, just speed and potency here, guys. All right, so that was a Padme team. Let's go and chat about this Shock T Nuke team. So this is extremely um, easy. Um, the Gear 13 I'm going to chat about are the clones and Anakin. Shock T does not need to be Gear 13 for this team at all. Um, if you if you do have a Gear 13, I would probably just go for more speed, HP, and some offense if you can. Um, nothing too crazy there, but for these other guys, let's chat about Anakin. He's the most important yet again in this team. Um, Anakin's sets are going to be different from that previous team we are chatting about with Padme lead and then to this nuke team. The, dif the difference is because um, with the, the Padme team, he's going to be not be able to one-shot the Malox and he's not going to be able to do those massive amounts of hits from all the extra offense he's getting from the Shock T lead. Um, so what you want to do in this team is actually don't go for offense. Instead, you want to go for a CD in a, in a CC set if you can, because you want to do as much you know crits as possible onto the Malak, and the CD set allows you to do more damage with the crits. So that'll really help out kill those those like you know relic level seven Maliks and stuff like that. So if I were you guys, I'd go for a CD set. This one in this team is a little bit tougher because you still want to maintain good speed as well, just so you can get faster than Shock T. So in this, I'd probably just go for something similar to what I'm going to show you here. I mean, nothing crazy, honestly, um, but you know, it's I think it's doable for the most part. The the ones that if you guys watched my previous video, you should really be looking for mods that uh, that are not on the offense primaries that can give you um, percent offense. So like these mods here, the the diamond, um, let's put that one on. The the diamond, even this, the triangle with CD. This is probably the most um, valuable mod right now. A CD triangle with percent offense and offense, and just stuff like that. So with with my best mods here and then this best set here, um, he's only at 8.2. This is pretty garbage, honestly. Um, but if you take away this and you throw on this one here, what's that going to be? 8.6 but then you lose a lot of speed so in this one you got to have your 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 anakin faster than shock t you want to have maxed out cd here so 222 percent and you want to hit around the 8.7 to 9k mark this will ensure you to pretty much one shot any malik's level level 7 relic out there so that's what i would go for here guys on your anakin so let's say you went all out on your clones you're your 501st you love the clones how would you mod them with with a uh, shock team this team well in this team most of the time your shock is going to die so she doesn't matter too much and your fives has a good chance of dying as well so um, if you want to make so fives doesn't die as much i would go for a lot of defense um, defense is going to help a lot versus those big hits that malik and darth revan will do and making making it so that he survives as, as long enough so he can get the, the bonus turn for Anakin and that's going to be good for you. So I'd go for a lot of defense, a lot of HP protection on your fives. Nothing too crazy. Don't worry about speed on these clones because, um, well, actually, actually, outside of Rex, you want to just not worry about the speed because Rex will give the extra TM and the, and the extra the turns. So 
Fives is just defense and HP and protection. Down here though at, at Echo, um, this guy should be modded for a lot more offense. Um, similar to that of the Anakin that was in the Padme team because you want him to be modded that way because when Anakin doesn't, you know, let's say Anakin on the off chance doesn't one shot a Malak, well Echo is going to be there and you want Echo to do as much damage as possible. So um, when he's in when he's in the, the, the red and he's 25% lower for the Malak, he's going to have max crit avoidance. So you want to make sure that he's modded for a lot of offense, just doing base damage to the guy. So mod your Echo for just a lot of offense. Um, probably wouldn't worry about a, a crit arrow or a crit triangle too much in this team. Um, but it's going to be very nice to have, you know, in other teams. So that's Echo in, in X and <laughs> next is Rex. Um, this guy you just want extremely fast. Um, right now I'm going to give this to him when my GA starts. He's going to be at 277. You can easily bump this number up. Um, with that number, he's going to be 277 plus um, or times rather the unique here, which is 1.12 plus the 35 from Shock T. That's well over 330 speed. That's going to be able to outspeed a lot of Darth Revens in the game. So in this team, just mod Rex, you know, typical, just fast and loose. There you guys go. And uh, there you guys have it. So in those two teams, I just wanted to briefly go over the modding because this is something I wanted to kind of get out there soon um, because this is something that I find really important with the relics. Relics kind of changed the, the game of the modding used to be a little bit different at gear 12 gear 13 before relics now with relics it's totally different in my opinion <laughs> excuse me but uh yeah i i think the ones that stand out the most are gk for sure and even actually padme um anakin is very similar to how it used to be but those two gk and padme you kind of want to mod a little bit differently because of their stats are going to be getting at a high level relic so guys thank you guys for watching again i uh i want to give a shout out to i think his name is the chadley on reddit for that cool post he made so good stuff there and uh, thank you guys for watching it again like it if you guys uh, did enjoy the video share it around sub to my channel if you guys are new here we do a lot of different videos on this game and i will be doing a, a going over the q and a it's probably going to be live tomorrow or yesterday rather because it's going to be out of order but uh besides that we got discord and patreon go check out those two things thank you guys for watching it again and i will see you later